So, APM tactics for large accounts. You see my voice change because it's a bit more interesting than saying hello to our uh, we... So, this is the agenda. Basically, uh, I'll try to keep my conversation very, very short. We're starting with a slight delay. Um, and then uh, Bicabella will speak about uh, her startup, Engage. So, thank you very much for, uh, for uh, taking part today. And the or will share some insights from the World Cup gifting cafe. Yeah, I'm sure they're all kind of familiar with the names as you're here. Um, so let's dive into it. I mean, who, who in the audience is kind of experienced with ABM, has done ABM already, implemented or to part in an implementation process by raise of hand? Great. So I'll start with like a, a very quick overview of what actually ABM is about, who it is for, what it is good for. So it means they're working together on a set list of accounts uh, and it's built to kind of optimize the CAC and drive more revenue. Some terminology, right? You can do marketing on one to many, one to few and one to one. So if ABM is an approach that puts marketing towards one to few or one to one uh, from a set target uh, the cap list. So, and, and the main difference at why ABM essentially reduces your CAC is because if SEO and SEM you're targeting keywords, which means you're targeting a very, very wide audience. Uh, and then you have budget spillage. And again, with display and social, you're targeting audiences. Same thing, right? You're spending a, a wide budget on a not very targeted audience and you're getting Gmails, you're getting students, you're getting bots, bad. Uh, not exactly what you're looking for on the Ford fills. In ABM, we target exact companies, which means you're targeting your budget and the efforts of both sales and marketing departments towards specific accounts that you want to go after. Um, ABM is good if you have a high ACV, if you have inbound and outbound, and if your product is with a long sales cycle, right? So more nurturing on the sales cycle, um, it doesn't really make sense to sell low value products with this kind of approach because it is resource consuming. And so more for like the enterprise and mid range products and, uh, and outbound a bit about because the motions are joined, right? You will have like your BDRs and your marketing working together to essentially bring in the leads, which are not leads, right? They're qualified contacts from qualified company. Anyway, um, there are more uh, use cases for uh, ABM than just e in marketing. Some for sales and uh, sales can use ABM as a tiering of a kind of methodology using intent, for, in for example, to enrich accounts with intent and then prioritize those over just normal accounts. And um, SDRs again, prioritizations and pre uh, outreach nurturing. So SDRs would be able to reach out to accounts that already consume some of your marketing content and they're not reaching out to like absolutely cold prospects, but to prospects that already know uh, about your brand. Customer success, churn prevention, for example, is, is one interesting use case. Uh, operations, so unified scoring models for those target accounts for sales and market date and kind of better revenue man man management and measurement. Uh, product, prioritizations, launches, uh, general awareness about new features, uh, and of course, DRM communications with the kind of PR messaging uh, that you can deliver directly to specific accounts with targeted B2B advertising. And if you'd like to run kind of an internal pilot in your company, on how to do ABM. You first have to define your ideal customer profile, hopefully on a dynamic level, and that is a challenge, right? If you want to quarterly go over all of your sales data, analyze it, review and insights, implement it, and synchronize sales and marketing across the new ICP, which was just different now from the last quarter because we sold to also non-ICP companies and some of them were successful, so we'd like to also explore those segments. That becomes a bit of a challenge, but doable and you could do it even mangrove. 
you took that a list of those new ICB companies to match the audiences. So you can use alphabetic um, databases, you can reach for Crunchbase, you can improve then reach through Bayer LinkedIn or you know, just database providers. And then you need to focus on, on the few channels, right? Because you can't work all channels and you need to find the affected channels for your account-based marketing approach, right? It could be Google Ads, which is not account-based, they're an account-based channel, but it can be made into one. And you can use LinkedIn, which is the kind of only out-of-the-box channel that you have, but I'm actually not the only one. I just heard that Bing is doing an account-based uh, app as well. So yeah, thank you for that, Um And then you need to align your teams and, and launch this activity, right? So first, marketing will uh, essentially start outreaching and generating awareness. There are different tools out in the market that you can kind of monitor what kind of pre, pre-marketing awareness those accounts have, like intent, for instance, third-party intent. And then you will essentially reach out to those accounts after a certain touch points in the buyer's journey has been kind of completed. And it's probably the right time for BDRs to reach out and start converting those target accounts into uh, opportunities. After they've been turned into opportunities, marketing does step in again to nurture those opportunities. Because if you recall, we mentioned that it's a long sales cycle and in a high ACV. So you want this close. It takes time for the buying committee to take a decision. And we would like to nurture the buying committee with content. So they keep you on top of their uh, mind. You know, for the sign, and then you analyze, visualize the impact and where, of course, metrics in revenue and reiterate again on that whole process. So I'll, I said, I'll keep it short and then that's pretty much it. If you would like to kind of research more, there are some pretty useful resources here. And um, for you, we'll of course share with you the presentation so you can uh, refer to this and, and review. Don't need to kind of remember this in spite. Um, and again, thank you very much. Uh, we're at Ridge, we're sponsoring this meetup and we'll have much more. We'll also send you a feedback form and it will be very appreciated if you kind of share what kind of insights, what kind of content you'd like to know. And if you'd like to see your kind of target segments uh, and their potential outreach, their intent in the market, and just kind of run out of go-to-market diagnostic or how we could use ABM internally, then feel free to reach out. We'll give you a free uh, go-to-market diagnostic. I'm uh, passing on the mic to Inca. Thank you for the attention.